Hi Aries, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel. And this is your weekly guidance uh, for the 17th to the 23rd of February 2020. And welcome if you're new, please subscribe and hit that bell. You can find that right down in the corner there underneath the video. And for more information, uh, you can go to the top right hand corner and click on the eye then it will take you to my website and have a scout around there you also see the reviews that i've made on these two decks that i've done the um, enchanted dream oracle uh, tarot deck and the uh, archangel michael oracle deck i'm also using the angel feather uh, deck and that's because I use that with the color for chakras, meditation, you can eat it, this will help you to uh, uh, to clear yourself, it's anti-deoxant and um, also you can wear the color and it's an extra card and there's an angel attached to it, an archangel and of course lots and lots more but too long to to go into you'll see when i'm doing the reading what i mean now um if you are new please subscribe and hit the bell please um and also for the cyber angels a warning a lot of readers are warning their viewers that the old system might not be able to take your membership uh, to the new system as Google is changing systems. You've heard me mentioning this before, so make sure that you are a member of your favorite readers' channels and that will save it in your library in the new system because Google Plus is already gone and so you can't. So the system is mega changing in Google, it's not YouTube alone. Facebook is also doing changes. You can't double screen anymore, interact with each other. So that is a pity because I thought that's lovely because I do collaborate with other readers. And here we go with your reading, my darling. And please share the video as well with family and friends. On the 17th, we have the King of Pentacles. Wow, this deck does not show any men. It, it just uh, highlights the femininity within us, whether we are a man or a woman. We are made from, we've got a feminine side and a masculine side. So whether you're a woman or a man, you has, have the meters touch on Monday. Everything you do will turn to gold or turn out positively. Or you might, you might be meeting a Virgo. And this is what I like about this deck, because whether you're a man or a woman, you can meet the King of Pentacles. Um, you can meet, therefore, a lady, it could be a lady or a man, because the, the cards do not are not sexist or racist, um, for that matter. So you might be meeting a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus on Monday if you're not partnered up. But I hope for all of you, your Valentine was a beautiful day. So everything will turn to gold. This man does know how to invest not only money, but also into relationships or anything else for that matter, because he has no, he's reached this status through working hard and investing wisely, using his common sense and his business sense. So you might be more business-like on Monday yourself, Aries. Then we have the Clarity card, and we've got the Clarity card, Go Within. You are not quite in balance, so 1 and 5 is 6. So to get yourself back into balance. Life is balance, and sometimes we are out of whack, out of balance, more often than not. We've also got the Queen of Pentacles. So if you are a man, uh, you might, there again, you know, we've got a couple here. This is prominent that you will be um, coupling up with, um, if you're not coupled up, 
you will be coupling up because we've got the couple here this week with uh, an, uh, an, uh, uh, an earth sign. Sorry, Aries. So it could be you'll uh, become a best friend for life, either male or female. And the Queen of Pentacles stands for fertility. So if you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. If you don't want to become a father, also take precautions. Also, it means birth. Birth of a baby or birth of a new project, a new job, a new house, something new. And it will be for the uh, long term and it will be durable. Also, um, it means uh, growth. So you will be staying there and you will be improving this thing or this situation, whether it's a house, a job, it's a job with possibilities to grow up, uh, um, I mean, to, uh, to grow up levels. So you can grow with the company and in the company. So that could be a long term job. And you'll be harvesting fruits after it is blossomed. So it's quite a good card to have long term investments. Definitely the first half of the week, whether it's in relation or work or private. Then we have conquering fears. Start today. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of this new beginning because it's going to bring you the money you wish or you deserve for a project that you wish to invest in. So it's a good card. You've got 17 and that is eight and eight is the powerhouse and the money house in the astrological sphere then we have i'll just show you the queen of pentacles she's beautiful she's also uh, known as mother earth because she is fertile she takes of, uh, she takes care of the garden and of the animals so she's green, got green fingers. So the king's got uh, the touch of gold and she's got the touch of nurturing and growth. Then we have the queen of pentacles. If you are not meeting a Virgo Aries, you might be meeting the queen of air. And she is quite um, stern looking, but she and a lot of readers say that she's a widow. Um, uh, or she, she's she got a heart of ice. Well, take it from me, that's not true. She's just emotionally under control because she uses her wisdom. She's wise. She stands for wisdom, communication, and you need to have your emotions under control in order to communicate clearly and honestly. She also stands for justice. So if you are in a judicial situation, or somebody around you might be in a judicial situation and you are helping them, then you might be the queen of air. You might have an air element in your chart, or you might just take a page out of her book and get down to the nitty gritty and cut through the BS straight through to the core and get the honesty um, or the, the truth and bring it out to daylight for your friend or for yourself. Awesome. If not, you could be meeting a, a, a Libra, a Gemini or an Aquarian and they could be doing this for you and assist you. Then we have creation. You are creating something and look at this. You are investing or creating something, perhaps your own business and you've got three. So that is creation. That's creativeness, expansion in your life. Perhaps you are pregnant or wanting to get pregnant. So that's the expansion in your family or in your life. Awesome. And if you did get pregnant now, then it could be a Libra that's being born. That is your air sign. Um, on Saturday and Sunday, we have judgment. Now, like I said, if you've got a judicial issue, then now is the time uh, and the place to get the truth out into the open. You can see the phoenix 
uh, just underneath. So you're rising from the ashes. There is a new beginning. So you've got the clarity, you've done the work, you've communicated this, and it's coming out into the open. The time is right. Judgment, you've got a second chance or a new beginning. Usually it's depicted with people rising from the dead and Gabriel is blowing air into the rising dead. So it could be a second chance or it could be definitely a new beginning. And you definitely have a new beginning with the Queen of Pentacles because she stands for beginnings and births. Again, you've got uh, an other card from uh, Archangel Metatron and you've got 54, there is an ending. You've got Lilac, Higher Realms and Magic. So you're going into a higher stage. Like if you want to expand the family, then you are going up a level, an other realm. You're going to become the mother. Okay. And a higher realm also could mean an higher, uh, a higher way of thinking, a higher spiritual. The higher the spiritual is the higher realm. Magic is happening. Justice is coming, definitely, and the truth is coming out. And you've got at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, the three of cups. There will be celebrations, or you might be invited to celebrations or a wedding if it isn't yours, because there is a couple here. Um, for the angel card, you have the fawn angel card. Difficulties resolved, definitely, with the queen of um, air and the judgment. And you're getting to hear results. You're getting news and you're going to celebrate. So it could be difficulties are resolved. The angels are present to inform you that a particular difficult period in your life is coming to an end. This is the nine. You've been creative enough to get um, the information you need. Wow. The angel, uh, I'm, I'm only doing the archangels and there's three of them. And there's Archangel Michael and he's the uh, angel with the shield and sword for protection and clarity and honesty. And then we've got Archangel Uriel and our Michael is also the throat chakra, which is telecommunication. So you've got communication in the angels as well. You've got Archangel Uriel, solutions to difficulties. He's also the grounding angel. He grounds your chakras. And then you've got Archangel Zatkiel, and he's the angel of compassion. Okay, you've got the angel of compassion. So he is also the angel of the third eye, Shakil is the angel or, of the crown chakra. Okay, so um, the higher uh, realms, we've got purple here, so that's Archangel Uriel. He is at work on your spiritual side. He's giving you a clear mind like the Queen of Swords. Awesome reading. Um, Aries. So I hope you're going to celebrate and let me know what it is. You can always contact me also through MS Messenger and let me know what your um, what what has been happening to you and what has been uh, cleared up. And you have got the victory card, the Three of Cups process, judge judgment will be done you are rising from the ashes awesome so let me know hi uh, aries i forgot to give you your stones or your gems and you can for grounding yourself or helping you to detox to detox or 
to um, get less stressed and the uh, stones or the crystals that you can use is halolite, petrified wood and smoky quartz so they will help you to resolve the difficulties that you might be having so carry them in your bra or in your pocket or in your purse something close to your heart or something that's close to your body so you get the crystal can give off the positive energy and collect the negative energy it's a lot like meditation and you can wear the color you can eat the color um, it fall then you'll have to uh, nuts, nuts is the color of fawn, so you can eat nuts, so that is good, just use your creativity, and I'm sorry that I had forgotten it, but that is what I wanted to explain to you, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, you'll see when I, I'm at the card and I will explain it, but I forgot, I'm sorry, so I'll see you later, take care, bye bye. And of course, I'll see you in the live sessions, I hope, and please give us the thumbs up and uh, share the video with family and friends. Love you all, be blessed, and a beautiful week.